EF0 tornadoes, 65 to 85 mile per hour winds. EF0 tornadoes are the weakest on the enhanced Fujita scale, but don't let that label fool you. With winds between 65 and 85 miles per hour, they're still more powerful than most hurricanes when they first make landfall. At this level, tree branches snap, shallow rooted trees may topple, and roofs often lose shingles. Backyard sheds, small barns, and fences are usually the first casualties. Cars can be nudged or scratched by flying debris. And power outages are common when lines get knocked down. People often underestimate EF0 tornadoes because houses may still stand afterward, but the cleanup can take weeks. For example, an EF0 tornado that hit Dallas in 2019 damaged hundreds of homes, proving that even the weakest twisters can leave behind a costly mess. EF1 tornadoes, 86 to 110 miles per hour winds. EF1 tornadoes take things to the next level. With winds as strong as 110 miles per hour, these storms can rip entire sections of roofs away, peel siding off homes, and smash windows. Cars may be flipped onto their sides, and outdoor objects become deadly missiles. Mobile homes are especially vulnerable. Many are flipped or destroyed outright. Tall trees are often snapped mid-trunk, leaving behind jagged splinters. Streets become unrecognizable with downed power poles and broken glass scattered everywhere. In fact, most injuries from EF1 tornadoes come not from collapse, but from debris flying at dangerous speeds. In April 2011, an EF1 tornado in Virginia ripped through Gloucester County, flattening structures and injuring over 60 people. It's proof that EF1 storms are no joke. EF2 tornadoes, 111 to 135 miles per hour winds. When a tornado reaches EF2 strength, the destruction becomes life-changing. At this stage, entire roofs are torn away and outer walls of homes may collapse. Large trees are uprooted and flung across yards, sometimes smashing through houses. Cars and trucks may be rolled or shoved into ditches, making road travel deadly. Even strong buildings show major scars, with collapsed porches, garages torn off, and walls buckled under the force. Many EF2s leave scars visible for years in communities, especially rural towns where recovery is slow. In 2013, an EF2 tornado struck Granbury, Texas, destroying dozens of homes and killing six people. Survivors described their neighborhoods as looking like a bomb went off. At EF2, proper shelter isn't just recommended, it's necessary for survival. EF3, tornadoes, 136 to 165 miles per hour winds. EF3 tornadoes are where devastation escalates to a terrifying scale. At 136 to 165 miles per hour, winds are strong enough to tear entire stories off houses, flatten barns, and rip apart schools or businesses. Buses, semi-trucks, and other heavy vehicles may be overturned or thrown. Forests are shredded, with trees snapped like toothpicks or completely uprooted. The width of destruction grows wider too, with paths often stretching half a mile or more. EF3 tornadoes have flattened entire small towns in a matter of minutes. For example, in 2021, an EF3 tornado in Nunan, Georgia, left a swath of destruction that could be seen from miles away, reducing entire neighborhoods to rubble. Survivors often compare the sound to a freight train parked in the living room, describing it as an all-consuming roar. EF4 tornadoes, 166 to 200 miles per hour winds. EF4 tornadoes are catastrophic. Winds nearing 200 miles per hour turn ordinary objects into deadly missiles and leave behind damage so severe it's hard to imagine recovery. Well-built homes are reduced to piles of splintered wood, reinforced buildings are partially destroyed, and vehicles can be hurled hundreds of yards. Trees are often stripped bare, their bark sandblasted away by flying debris. Power infrastructure collapses, with poles bent like twigs and substations destroyed. The 2011 Tuscaloosa-Birmingham EF-4 tornado carved a path of destruction through Alabama that stretched over 80 miles, killing more than 60 people and leveling entire communities. Survivors describe neighborhoods as gone, not damaged, not ruined, but erased from memory. EF-4s are rare, but when they strike, the devastation defines a region for generations. EF-5 tornadoes, 
over 200 miles per hour winds. At the top of the scale are EF5 tornadoes, the rarest and deadliest storms on Earth. These monsters produce winds over 200 miles per hour, strong enough to lift houses off their foundations and scatter them into pieces. Even reinforced concrete buildings can be reduced to rubble, steel beams twisted beyond recognition. Asphalt may be peeled from roads, and soil itself can be scoured away, leaving behind scars in the earth. Vehicles are thrown for hundreds of yards, sometimes landing on top of buildings or trees. Famous EF-5s like the 2011 Joplin. Missouri tornado killed over 150 people and caused $2.8 billion in damage. Another EF-5 in Moore, Oklahoma, in 2013, left neighborhoods so obliterated that nothing but bare concrete slabs remained. Survival at this intensity requires underground shelters. Above ground, there's simply no safe place. These storms are so violent, they're sometimes described as beyond engineering. Beyond the scale, the F-6 myth. Over the years, there's been talk of an F-6 tornado, but scientifically, the enhanced Fujita scale ends at EF-5. Why? Because EF-5 already represents destruction. Above-ground structures cannot withstand winds stronger than 200 miles per hour, so measuring beyond that is almost meaningless. Still, meteorologists acknowledge that some tornadoes exceed 250 or even 300 miles per hour, such as the 1999 Bridge Creek Moor tornado in Oklahoma. Radar measured winds over 300 miles per hour in that storm, making it one of the strongest ever recorded. But no matter how high the wind speed climbs, the result is the same. Absolute devastation. The F6 remains more of a myth or pop culture idea than an official category but it highlights how terrifyingly powerful tornadoes can be when nature pushes its limits. EF-0 – The Weakest Tornadoes EF-0 tornadoes are the smallest and least destructive. With wind speeds between 65 and 85 miles per hour, 105 to 137 kilometers per hour, they usually cause light damage. Think broken branches, damaged signs, and maybe a few shingles blown off rooftops. While they're considered weak, these tornadoes can still be dangerous to anyone caught outside, especially with flying debris. EF-1, still manageable, but stronger wind speeds jump to 86 to 110 miles per hour, 138 to 177 kilometers per hour in EF-1 tornadoes. At this level, we see more serious damage. Roofs can be peeled back, mobile homes may tip over, and vehicles can be pushed off the road. EF-1 tornadoes are a reminder that even weaker tornadoes can still disrupt communities and cause injuries. EF-2 – Major Structural Damage EF-2 tornadoes bring winds between 111 and 135 miles per hour, 178 to 217 kilometers per hour. They can rip roofs completely off well-built houses, demolish mobile homes, and snap large trees like twigs. Cars and trucks might get lifted off the ground, and flying debris becomes deadly. Many people underestimate EF-2s, but they can devastate neighborhoods in just minutes. EF-3 – Severe Tornadoes With wind speeds of 136 to 165 miles per hour, 218 to 266 kilometers per hour, EF-3 tornadoes are considered severe. Entire sections of homes are destroyed, shopping centers can collapse, and trains may derail. At this point, tornadoes become not just damaging but outright life-threatening on a wide scale. Survivors often describe neighborhoods as being unrecognizable afterward. EF-4 – Extreme Destruction EF-4 tornadoes reach 166 to 200 miles per hour, 267 to 322 kilometers per hour winds. These storms are capable of leveling entire houses, tossing vehicles like toys, and turning large objects into missiles. Some of the most infamous tornadoes in history fall into this category, leaving entire towns wiped out in their path. EF-5 – The Most Catastrophic EF-5 tornadoes are the strongest officially recognized tornadoes. With winds exceeding 200 miles per hour, 322 kilometers per hour, they reduce neighborhoods to bare foundations. Reinforced concrete structures can be heavily damaged, and even steel-reinforced buildings may not withstand the force. EF-5 tornadoes are rare, but when they do occur, the destruction is often unimaginable. 
For example, the Joplin, Missouri tornado of 2011 was a devastating EF5 that killed over 150 people.